it's definitely been the hardest thing I've ever been through. On my journey as an NBC correspondent going through breast cancer, I've met a lot of amazing women. Create the world that you want to see, so that I did. <laughs> But none who have given me more hope than Dr. Nora Desis, lead researcher at UW Medicine's Cancer Vaccine Institute. Can you imagine a world where no one would die of breast cancer because of a vaccine? The time is now. The time is now. Developing a vaccine is her life's work. In 2013, Desis and her team made a breakthrough in a vaccine for a type of breast cancer called HER2 positive. 66 women with advanced stage breast cancer were treated with the vaccine, including Bridget Hempstead, whose cancer had spread to her lungs and liver. Oncologists said, well, you're not gonna live a year. Instead of going home to die, she reached out to get into the vaccine trial. And now, more than a decade later. Cancers are leaving and they're going away. They're disappearing and so. Your cancer is disappearing. Yeah. Hempstead does get additional treatment, but she credits the vaccine for an extra decade of life with her family. Of the trial participants who got the ideal vaccine dose, 80% were still alive at the 10 year mark. The median survival rate for stage four HER2 positive is only five years. Desis and her team are now working on a cutting edge breast cancer vaccine that attacks cancer stem cells. The pieces are there and the understanding of the immune system is there. What we really need is to be able to evaluate these vaccines in a very uniform manner with a lot of eyes looking at the data coming out of these trials. Enter Michelle Young, a stage four survivor and advocate I met during an interview on her work to mandate effective screening for everyone covered by insurance. Mammography, even though wonderful for many women, is not the end all or be all. Young had an idea. What if we brought all the researchers together and helped fund, educate, and accelerate the breast cancer vaccine trials? The Pink Eraser Project was born. And in short order, doctors from six of the nation's top cancer centers joined our collaboration. I am definitely uh, encouraged. Oh, we need large studies, and that's why we need collaboration. So we can do the big studies that uh, will prove what works. Jenny Davis was the first person in the world to get Cleveland Clinic's phase one trial of a breast cancer vaccine for triple negative cancer, known as the hardest to treat, with high rates of recurrence. I wanted to see my kids grow into adults and you know, get married and have kids. And I was just, I was very scared. She was thrilled when she qualified for the trial in 2019. The only side effects I had um, were lumps at the injection site. That is it, um, nothing else. The vaccine has taught my body to identify those cells and destroy them before they can become a tumor. It's given me hope for myself and my family, but with the vaccine, the bigger picture is not me. The bigger picture is what this could mean for breast cancer and research in general. Like, it could change everything. There is a lot of new science that more people are involved in the process. Something that would take 30 years could be done in a five to 10 year period of time. All it takes is awareness, enthusiasm, excitement, and that people know this exists. And that's what I aim to bring. If I've learned anything in 30 years as a journalist, one person really can change the world. But this will go much quicker if everyone joins <laughs> us. Let's face it, with one in eight American women diagnosed in their lifetime, we all know someone with breast cancer. And that's why I'm starting the Pink Eraser Project with an amazing group of scientists and doctors and survivors. I'm going to be dedicating my life to this. It means that I am leaving what has mm -hmm. been a dream job but it's just too important for me not to work on this. And you see that incredible group of doctors we already have assembled and it's only mm. growing, guys. Kristen, we couldn't let you go <laughs> if it weren't for this mission yeah. and purpose that matters so much. It's personal to you. Mm -hmm. But ex I explain to people because, you know, there are all these amazing trials, but sometimes the left hand isn't talking to the right. Mm -hmm. the, they're not together and collaborating. Mm -hmm. And that's what, this mm -hmm. is the innovation. Right, it's not that it's competition or they don't want someone else to succeed. They actually do want to work together. 
It's just that they're in their own silos and they're working on their own projects. They're filling it with their own patients. If everybody works together and is able to pull patients from all over the country and all work together and share the research, this really could happen so much quicker. And, and I do need to say, because I'm sure some people are out there and in some communities, vaccine has become a bad word and you're getting out your phone to write me. This will never be something that is mandated by the government. Mm. Breast cancer is not an infectious disease. Yeah. Right. It will be for people who have either had it and want to avoid recurrence or who are at high risk and who choose to do this. By the way, it starts with breast cancer. This research has application to all kinds of cancers, right. potentially. Absolutely. So there already are some other cancers that have vaccines already or are in development. And what they are learning will be able to be applied to other solid tumor cancers. Look, guys, my dad was just diagnosed mm. with cancer. So you can be mm. sure I'm not stopping with breast <laughs> no, cancer. This not. is something that we can do for everyone. Can we just mark a moment right here with you on this couch? Mm. You have been at NBC for nearly 30 years. Mm. This is your very last report. That's so weird. We <laughs> want to say thank you because all of your reporting, all of your dedication, you always brought your heart and soul mm, yes. to every story. And we want to say thank you. And to us, I mean, we keep talking about like repotting. You're pulling yourself up by the roots and you are planting yourself in the place you were meant to be. You're going to change the world, girl. I and we're just so. we're just next to you. So Aww. it's and your it's last report for NBC. It is not your last appearance. Yes. You're an amazing yes. colleague and friend thank thank you. and supporter to all of us. And we love you, Kristen. Aww, you guys are great. You. And I look forward to coming back and giving yes. you the good news yes. that we have a vaccine Invitation. approved. Right. Absolutely. Girl. Thank right. you. We, we love you. We love you. Yeah. Thanks. We love you. All right. Mr. Oker, over to you. You will be missed, Kristen. We love you. Thanks so much. All right. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.